Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Poverty Hill Adventures. We're going to do a little fishing this morning, and we're going to fish with this antique head and mouse lure. I'll see if we can catch some fish with this. Uh, got a late start this morning, uh, I'll explain later, but let's go fishing now. It's, it's got a rather unique action to it. Uh, it actually uh, it floats, but when you start retrieving it, it dives down and it kind of uh, wiggles like a jitterbug lure. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If we catch a fish. With. Started out uh, with a real slow retrieve, you know, and. Uh, uh, the last couple casts, I kind of cranked it up a little bit, and I actually think it's got a better, uh, a better action, better look to it, uh, with a little, a little faster of a retrieve. I'm not exactly sure what a mouse in the water <laughs> looks like. <laughs> I've never seen one in the water, but uh, um, I would imagine a mouse in the water would want to get to shore as quick as possible. I think we'll try a couple more casts here and then uh, move to a different spot. I usually have pretty good luck at this spot. I've I've got some decent sized largemouth, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep trying with with the Hedden uh, vintage mouse lure. I, I had just turned the camera off, uh, and uh, wouldn't you know it, um, <laughs> uh, Murphy's Murphy's Law there. Look at this beauty here. Great big large mouth on uh, on the uh, antique uh, um, Hedden mouse. I guess uh, I guess this guy just couldn't resist the. Uh, a mouse for dinner or for breakfast I should say so we're gonna let we're gonna let him go uh, it looks like we got a thunderstorm coming but I think we're gonna fish for a little bit longer let's see if we can do that again <laughs> that was fun that was a nice nice fish for this small pond so we'll give it another try here
that sky is lo <laughs> is looking uh, kind of ominous. Uh, but uh, it's just raining lightly right now. But I think we're in for a a pretty good uh, thunderstorm here. So uh, I don't know how much longer I'll be here fishing, but uh, I'd like to catch one more. It's starting to rain pretty hard, and uh, instead of heading back to the truck, <laughs> I, I can't help myself. I just can't. Uh, I'm heading farther away from the truck. Uh, um, some of you may recognize this spot. This is uh, what I call a jitterbug tree, which is right there is the jitterbug tree, and we've been having a lot of rain, and it's uh, it's almost submerged, and I know I shouldn't be fishing with a valuable um antique vintage lure here because the chances of me getting a snag uh, and losing it are, are 50 50. um but like i said i i can't control myself i i've got fishing pox it's a disease and there's no cure for it i just, I just gotta go fishing you know so uh before i leave i gotta make at least a couple casts here by the jitterbug tree and uh see if we can catch another another big bass uh, um, so uh, uh, keep your fingers crossed <laughs> One more cast, then uh, I think I think it'd be wise for us to start heading back. The, the lightning's getting closer and thunder and all, so uh, uh, one more cast.
I thought <laughs> I thought I thought I lost it. Uh, what a fitting end to the video that would have been. Uh, I, it's a miracle I got <laughs> I got that lure through that through all them branches there. Uh, well, anyhow, uh, going to be a short video because of the thunderstorm coming. So <clears throat> there you have it. Uh, fishing with an antique uh, vintage head and mouse lure. Uh, and we caught one. We caught a, a real nice one with it. So until next time, everybody, take care. Thanks for watching. And remember to keep on trucking. Oh, I, I, I forgot. I was going to tell everybody uh, why I got a late start today. Uh, uh, I got up this morning, and uh, there was a great big tree across the driveway. Uh, check this out. Uh, kind of slowed me down a little bit, but it didn't stop me from, uh, from getting here fishing. Uh, so until next time, everybody, see ya.